happy Monday and the start of a new weekly vlog. I have another long Monday ahead of me because Sam has a show tonight again, and this one doesn't start till 9.30, but I'm really excited for this one because it is called Broadway Goes Acapella. And so him and his friend Evan put together an amazing group of acapella artists and they, well, I think Evan does a lot of the arranging. Some of the other artists might do it too, but they arrange a bunch of amazing Broadway songs. This is the third one that they're actually doing. So I'm really excited for him. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. And then I have some friends coming to the show too. So it should be a fun night for a Monday. I wanna start this week's vlog off with a question for you. And that is, do you like these? Is this something that you would want to see going forward on my channel in 2019? And I'll tell you, I have a couple of thoughts around it. So the first one is that I love it. I love being able to hop on here and talk to you. I love being able to document my life. I love being able to just give you a little bit more insight to me that isn't so planned and structured. It's a little just more, this is how it is. This is real, this is real life. My second thought though, is that they're not easy. That picking up the camera every day and but, so maybe I wouldn't do it every day. Maybe I would just do it when there are exciting things. But even so, getting all this footage together and compiled in an artistic way and hosting them every week is not, would not be an easy feat. However, my third thought is, I'm to be completely honest and open, these are my least viewed videos on my channel. Like vlog style videos are the least viewed. And so part of me is like, it, are you getting any value? Like if people aren't watching them and they're not getting any value, well then why, what, what's the point? And some of them, some of the more like family documented travel ones, I do it for me. I'll be completely honest, I do it selfishly because I wanna have those memories and I wanna have those things documented. But I also want to post things that are valuable for you and things that you want to watch and and learn from and grow from and be inspired by. So anyway, those are some of my rambly Monday morning thoughts about possibly continuing this weekly vlog setup in 2019, but to be determined. We are headed to Sam's show, hopefully getting there a little early so we can get a good seat. The earlier you get there, the better seat they give you. I love this venue, but it is like a first come first serve on seats. Say hi friends. Hi, say hi. Today was productive, it flew by to be honest. Like I, all of a sudden I looked down and it was like three o'clock. Actually when you same time to me, it was like 3.30. I was like, whoa, 3.30. Also it's not same time anymore, it's Skype, whatever. And then I had a really productive evening. I edited two and a half videos while I sat at my desk. And now it is time to celebrate that with a glass of wine or a cocktail. Although that seems ambitious for a Monday. <laughs> we'll see.
Okay, so it is about one o'clock and I just got home from work. I woke up this morning feeling terrible. I, I've i been having sinus issues for a while now and I actually talked to my stepmom about it when she was here visiting and she told me to go get like an just an over-the-counter nose spray and use it every day. That's what she does. So I've been meaning to do it since I talked to her about it. I just kept putting it off and finally this morning I woke up and I was just like, I, oh my God. I feel like there is like a 500 pound elephant sitting on my head. But we had this meeting at work that I just like couldn't not go to. So I went in, I went to the one meeting and then I left and I stopped at the drugstore on my way home and I picked up the nose spray. So I'm going to take some of that and then just lay down. I was going to try and take a bath and like relax a little bit, but I think I just need to lay down and rest and probably nap. So that's what I'm gonna do. No promises on super exciting footage today because that is just how I'm feeling. I also brought my computer home so that if I still feel like this tomorrow, then maybe I can work from here, but I don't even think that matters. My head just is killing me and my sinuses hurt so badly that I just don't even think it, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't get anything done at home or at work. Here's some footage of Charlie. Charlie, show your pretty face. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, it's so cute. Well, I just got up from a nap. A pretty long nap, actually. I don't even know what time it is, but it was a pretty long nap. And I still feel crummy. Like, my head just still feels, like, just so much pressure all in here and here. I just, I don't know what is going on. The nose spray, I guess... Did it help? I'm gonna take some Advil and I think I'm gonna take a bath and put um, some of my heating pads, one, a big long heating pad on my head and see if that helps a little bit. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So Sam still has to go back to work, but he came home for a second and he brought me chicken noodle soup. He's the best. That is Charlie hitting my hand with the phone in it. So I'm definitely feeling a little bit better. I think the hot bath with the hot uh, heating pad, I don't know what to call it, on my head. And then and then I stood up and took a shower and like just let the hot water run on my sinuses. There's definitely still pressure. Like I'm not, I'm, it's still painful, but it's much better. And then I think just like relaxing a little bit, eating some food, spending some time with Sam. I think just like not thinking about it also really helped. I think sometimes when we're not feeling well, we're just focusing on the fact that we're not feeling well and that doesn't help either. So definitely feeling better. I'm going to try and resist the urge to like take this feeling better and like tidy up the apartment and do some things because I know in reality, I just need to rest. So I'm going to open up my David's tea calendar because I'm almost two days behind at this point and make some tea and then get back in bed. Okay, I need to open yesterday's and today's. So let's start with yesterday's. Alrighty, this is oolong tea, nutty and spice, low caffeine. I can't really smell it to be honest through the bag, but it looks like it could be good. I haven't really had oolong tea all that much, but I like nuts and I like spice, so. I'm probably gonna have to open it to smell it and see if it's something that I want to do. Although tonight I, I don't want to do caffeine, so that's definitely not gonna happen tonight. I have a couple non-caffeine ones that I can do if both of these have caffeine in them. Um, right, this one does too. So this is an herbal infusion called Snow Day, but it does have low caffeine. That's interesting that it's herbal, but with low caffeine. Oh, it smells really good though. It smells kind of like pepperminty, like very minty. I guess that kind of makes sense with snow. So I don't think I will do either of these tonight because they both have caffeine. So let me go dig through my stash because I am very behind. See, I am very behind. Okay, so I have, that is a low caffeine, so not that one. This is 
one of the infusions, so that one's not caffeine, it's nuts. This is the s'mores, so that one has caffeine. This is another one of those fruit infusions, so that one's caffeine free too. This is the apple one that I've already tried that I didn't really like. And this is let it snow the green tea one, low caffeine. So it looks like my options are the nut fruit infusion or the cranberry bark. Okay, I'm gonna go with the nut one because I'm hoping that it's gonna be a little bit sweeter and I kind of have a, oh geez, a sweet tooth right now after that soup. Um, but I'm gonna be precise again with the water that goes into it so that hopefully it doesn't taste just like watered down nothing, like the last infusion one that I tried because that one I was not excited about. But again, I just pour, I did one scoop, but I did the whole teapot. So that probably m might have had something to do with it. So we're just going to do eight ounces of water with the one spoonful and hopefully that will be a little bit stronger. Hello, it is Thursday. I did not pick up the camera yesterday for a couple of reasons. The biggest one being I still felt crummy. I just still didn't feel well. I woke up and I still just had all this pressure and, and at this point I actually started to have a little bit of a cough and I just felt like I didn't even want to move my body. So I decided to stay home another day. Not a whole lot of exciting things going on on a sick day. The other reason was it was the anniversary of my grandmother's passing. So it was the two year mark of us losing her, her losing her battle to cancer. And I just needed a day. I just needed a day to be with myself, talk to my family. I felt just crummy in all kinds of ways and I didn't want that to come across. I'm still not feeling 100% clearly, but I'm headed to work. There are little tiny snow flurries. I don't know if the camera is catching them. It's probably catching this ridiculous siren. Well, it's still faintly in the distance, but I gotta get gotta get the thing the thing filmed. So I am headed into work today. I actually have a pretty busy day. I have like five or six meetings today. And I gotta catch up on all the stuff I missed from the past day and a half. So should be interesting. And then I need to pick myself up because I am still going live tonight. I'm feeling like I can do that. And to be honest, I'm just there's a snowflake on my eyelash. And I'm just gonna be myself. I mean, I'm probably not not gonna have perfect hair, it's not gonna be perfect makeup, but it's I'm still committed to the date and the time, and had it been Tuesday or Wednesday, I might have rescheduled, but I'm, I'm the noises today. But I'm, I'm good to go today, so off to work we go. She was asleep on the bed when I got home and oh, you, you, really you're going to move as I'm telling a story about you. And I turned on the light and it woke her up, but it took her a good five minutes to come. And then she plopped on the floor over there and she was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to wake up quite yet, mom. I'm not ready. Oh, who's a kitty. So I am going to try and squeeze in a little bit of editing before I start the live in a couple hours. But before that, I thought I would try and finish up this episode of Million Little Things that I started during lunch, the new episode, and tidy up the apartment just a smidge. I have a love-hate relationship with this show. I am really liking it. I just, I have a really, I struggle with having cheating being a huge 
part of a, of a storyline, like being such a big part of it. And even when I thought it was kind of over, they extended it. And I don't want to spoil anything if anybody wants to watch it. But it's just, that's, that's where I'm at with it. But I do like it. It's not my favorite of the new shows this season. But let me know in the comments what new shows you loved this season that came out. Manifest was definitely my number one. This was probably my number two, followed by New Amsterdam. And then, of course, in addition to all the shows that I already watch, um, Grey's, SVU, Empire, and This Is Us. I was like, I'm forgetting one. I also have some Happy Mail to open. It came in a box, but it got delivered to my office. And just like my last one, I didn't want to bring the whole box home. So I just took it out of the box. And it is from Black Friday, and it is from Jeffree Star. And I know that... There's going to be lots of controversy because he has a lot of controversy, but I really like his liquid lipsticks. I really like his products, and I've been wanting to try one of these lip scrubs, so I got the peach popsicle flavor. Oh, I'm so excited to try this. My lips have been so dry, and so I'm hoping that this really helps scrub my lips, and let's see if I can smell it. Oh my gosh. It literally smells like one of those peach candies. Oh, it's amazing. And then I got two new liquid lipsticks. So I got, I got Androgyny, which I know is one of his like really common ones, but my friend Ileana has it and I just, I really wanted it. Let's see. It's like a nice nude. It's still maybe a little bit more brown than I actually thought it was going to be. Maybe, maybe it won't look so brown on my lips. And then I got Red Drum, which I just figured I needed, I needed a new red. I needed a good red for the holidays. So here it is. Here's my perfect holiday red, even though I've already like gone to all the holiday. Well, we have holiday parties on Saturday, so I guess I can wear it to that. Oh, it's literally perfect. I wish this one was a little bit more pink mauve and less, less brown, but that's all right. I'm still happy. Okay. And now that I have used a ton of makeup remover to get that off, it is time to open two days of tea. Once again, I skipped a day. So let's go ahead and do the 13th, which was yesterday. No, yesterday. Today is the 13th. Yesterday was the 12th. Well, it doesn't really matter. I just have to do the 13th and the 12th. So, okay. So today's is ginger turmeric tonic. It's a green tea with one caffeine circle. This sounds like exactly what I need right now, like to help with my immune system and just make me feel better. Like David's tea gets me. Well, let's go ahead and open 12, even though I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm going to make tonight because I just... I need it. I need that something. And then, okay, yesterday's was red velvet cake. It's a black tea. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I bet this is delicious. It is two caffeines. I probably will make this one tomorrow. Although I still haven't figured out what to do about the fact that I haven't, none of my cups that I've ordered have come in yet. And so making tea for work is kind of hard, but oh my gosh. Oh, it smells amazing, y'all. Amazing. This very obvious table, clearly, right, has been in our lobby for, I don't even know how long now, like, at, at least three or four days. Whatever apartment this is, come get your table. I feel like I've mentioned this before, but one of my favorite things about New York City and cur during Christmas time is all of the trees are sold just like on the street like this. So you can walk down the street and it smells like Christmas. So during the winter, it is really hard to motivate myself to go run errands during lunch. Like I just don't want to bundle up and put on my coat, my scarf and all this stuff just to go out for like 30 minutes. But today I had to do it because I knew I was gonna be in a big rush, leaving work, trying to get home and do this video before I go to this birthday party. So I'm running two errands during lunch today. I'm gonna go pick up my Christmas cards, finally. Oops and I'm gonna go get some last minute ingredients for tonight's video. So the place I just went into did not have the ingredient that I needed, which is incredibly frustrating. I'm looking for Chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur, and it's a pretty mainstream ingredient, I feel like, so I just, I don't know. And it's the second place, actually, that I've checked that didn't have it. But honestly, I expected my little place um, up by my apartment not to have it, but this one was pretty big, so they didn't have it either. And of course, the guy was like, go to this other place one more block this way and I'm, I'm sure they're gonna have it. And I was like, that is what somebody told me about you. And now I am what was supposed to be a quick errand. I am now going to the third place to try. I mean the fourth overall, but the third today to try and find this. And I just, I thought that Chambord was sort of a mainstream alcohol liquor. Clearly it's not. 
All right, third time is the charm. Fingers crossed. Success. I did it, I found it. Uh, I forgot how expensive Chambord was. I think I'm gonna have to try and find like a alternative before I share this recipe because I don't, I don't know, I feel bad recommending something that's so expensive. The guy at the place was very helpful and he was like, well, we have a half, a half bottle or a little baby shot. And I was like, well, I don't mind buying the full bottle because I know that I'll use it and I like it. But if someone wants to try the recipe for the video I'm posting, I want there to be a cheaper alternative, if that makes sense. And now I have to rant again because I was just walking on the sidewalk, looking at my phone because that's what people do when they're walking on the sidewalk. And all of a sudden I hear this beep beep and it's a guy on a bike like asking me to move out of his way. And I, I was like, I, what? That is one of my biggest pet peeves here in the city is the number of bikers who think they get all the perks of being a car and the perks of being a pedestrian. So they run red lights and they ride on sidewalks and they do things that pedestrians do, but yet then they get to go in the middle of the street and cut your cab off and pretend to be a car. And it just drives me insane. Holiday cards, check. I ended up ordering them from Walgreens because they had, they actually had same day option, but by the time I ordered it, next day was fine. Um, I just kept forgetting to go pick them up because I've been sick and so I haven't been, I ordered them to the Walgreens in my office and I haven't been around to go pick them up, but they got them done super fast. Normally we do order from like a, you know, Shutterfly or Minted or one of those holiday card websites and long term, I want to use one of those ones that gives me the addresses already printed on them, but for now, since we waited so long to do them, Walgreens will do. And they had like a 50% off coupon, so we ended up not paying all that much for 100 holiday cards. No, we do not know 100 people. Sam sends them to his clients, <laughs> so that is where the majority of them go. We probably send them to like 30 or so friends and family. While I'm sitting here enjoying my drink that I made as part of my Sweet Tooth Sunday series, that video went up yesterday. So if you haven't checked it out, highly recommend. I always feel weird saying that I highly recommend my own videos. Like, of course I recommend them. I, I wouldn't upload a video if I don't recommend it. That just sounds so weird. But I'm enjoying this drink and not catching Sam on film while he is changing clothes. And then we are headed to a birthday party tonight. It's my friend Andy, who I met through work, but we mostly bonded over our love for college football. Even though he is a USC fan, he went to USC, and I constantly remind him of that glorious day in January of 2006 when Vince Young trampled his Trojans. Trampled. Tr trampled. Trampled's not a word, is it? Nope. Trampled? Trampled. 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 My Longhorns trampled his Trojans. <laughs> really, Vince Young. Vince Young did it. Charlie... Do you mind? She just thought that you might want to look at her butt. That's what she thought. She thought you just might want to. And she knocked over all the stuff behind me. It's really great. We were also discussing our predicament for tomorrow. There are three holiday parties that we have been invited to for tomorrow night. I'm tempted to just stay home on my onesie and say we're not going to any of them. Charlie's tail agrees. So we're trying to figure out what our game plan is and which one's coming first, which ones are we going to, what's happening. Now Sam also got invited to go to some concert earlier in the night, so we just have some planning to do. It's my favorite thing. Having Charlie's tail in my face. It's, it's not my favorite thing. Why does Sam get all the Southwest drink coupons and I get none of them? When Ooh, do they expire? November 30th, 2019. Oh. Sip. Ah. Uh. That's the sound of you joining Common Man Beverage on your next Southwest flight. Woo! You're flying Southwest next week, aren't you? Bonnie, you do not have to bring me alcohol. <laughs> I feel like I need to explain that. I, I actually may have included it in a vlog when I went to Chicago, maybe. My mom is notorious for when you get picked up from the airport, she has your drink of choice waiting for you. So that is, that is my mom's M.O. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. 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 Happy
just knocked on our door and handed this to us, which was very nice. I feel like, I don't know if he normally does that when we're just on home during the day, but it looks like it is a gift from my aunt and uncle um, who live in Ohio, actually. The actual label says that it's from Essie, but the there's this like extra sticker on it. And then it also says Sam White Lakin RG, which I'm assuming means rose gold. How pretty is this? Look at this. <gasps> Look, it's like a wine cup. Let me guess what the label says on it. Maybe it, I think it has a measure now. Oh, nice. Look. So cool. How cool are those? I like that they're opposites. Oh my gosh, these are so sweet. I will, if I can find the Essie shop that she ordered these from, I will link them below. Uh, they're just open, they're not, like they don't close shut, but it looks like it's a wine glass shape that's meant for wine and not for coffee, but I guess you could use it for whatever. But they're really nice, like they're metal. This is so awesome. She, my aunt is so sweet. My aunt, it's actually my stepdad's sister. We actually ended up being sorority sisters. I ended up pledging the same sorority that she was in. So she usually does something extra special for me at Christmas time. And this was just so thoughtful. Hello, it is Saturday. Uh, it's not technically morning anymore. We're gonna pretend it's still Saturday morning and I need to fill my plan with me. But before I can do that, I need to do some rearranging of my planners. I did a whole video on this back in June when I was setting up for the second six months of the year and it is time to do it again. So if you wanna know all the details, where's my tool? Okay, found my tool and my backup coil. So if you wanna know all the details on like how I did this, go watch that video or better yet, if you have the time, go watch Jen DeFore's video. Hers is a lot longer. I will link it below and has a lot more um, in-depth information on actually how to uncoil and recoil your planner. Oh, done it a few too many times, not a big deal. But what I'm gonna tell y'all is exactly why I do this. And the biggest reason is I don't wanna carry 12 months on my coil. And that is for a couple of reasons. First off, it's just a lot to carry. And I do take my planner with me to and from work every single day. And so having all 12 months is a lot. The second one is I like to stick a lot of stuff in the pockets or the sticky notes and clip them in. And with all the stickers and doing 12 months, it is a lot of strain on the coil. And I've had covers pop off, especially as you get towards the end of the year. So for the past couple of years, ever since I got the courage to uncoil and recoil, I have been only having six months in my planner. So the one I'm uncoiling right now, this is my current six months that I've been carrying around. So July through December of 2018. But next week, even though I know it's only mid-December, I am going home for the holidays. And so I need to be in my new planner for the new year. So most of the time my planners end up being like the middle of December to the middle of December. They're not quite a calendar year just because it depends on when I'm traveling and that's just what I do. So I'm gonna do two things today. I'm gonna recoil all of 2018 back together and then I'm gonna set up my six months to kick off 2019. Okay, so the first thing is to get 2018 all back together. So I'm gonna push that to the side, that's 2019. This is the first half of 2018. So this was the actual like cover from that. This is actually gonna go back in my new planner. Let's see if we can get this to match up pretty well. So this matches up with this and then here we are. So this is up through this current week. The rest of this is gonna be my new planner. So I'm actually not even gonna use, well, hold on. No, this needs to come with me. And so does this because I need to finish up this week. All right, so just kidding. This is all going to the new planner. This is sort of what 2018 is gonna be coiled back together as, hopefully. This is so, look how thick it is after all of the stickers and stuff. Mm, I kinda want the December monthly still since that hasn't, yeah. We're gonna do that. We're gonna take the December monthly with me too. Okay. So I'm gonna try and get these things lined up as best as possible. I'm gonna clip it back together. Ooh, maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so I got this going and I turned the camera around and then I realized that I wanted to put my like notes pages from 2018, even though like half of them fell apart and I didn't even end up using them, I wanna put them in with 2018. So I'm gonna have to uncoil all this, add in those notes pages and then do it all again.
Okay, so there is 2018 all ready to go. I'm gonna fold this in a little bit, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter because this planner is donezo and is just going to go sit on a shelf. So that is that. Now let's move on to getting the first half of 2019 ready to go. So I'm gonna start with this. And where did the vellum piece go? Um, oh, that's right here. Okay, and the vellum. And then we're actually gonna put December. I don't need that. That's the week that we're about to plan. And then we have January through. We're gonna do this through the end of June. But then I also want, actually I'm gonna keep the first half of July for the tab because otherwise that space before the notes tab is gonna drive me bonkers. So then we're gonna do the notes and I'm actually gonna stick a couple of extra notes pages in here that I have from an old notebook for a couple things that I might do. So I'm gonna stick, just stick those here in the back. And this one's kinda dirty, maybe not that one. And then I forgot about this contacts page. And then here's all the 2020 and the new folder. I think there was another half of a quote here. I don't know where that would have gone. But it would have been attached to the July notes page. So that's probably where it is, right? Oh yeah, here it is. No. Yeah, it's this. It's the other half of this. So, oh well. Not a big deal. I don't use that year at a glance, so I don't mind that that's not being carried over. Look how thin this looks without any, like anything. You know what, I might move the contacts page to the beginning because of that tab. Huh, let's see. And then there's a tab. There's like two full rows of tabs. Okay. It's so skinny. Oh my God. This is crazy y'all that it is this thin. But I mean, there's no stickers and it's only six months and there's nothing in the pocket and there's no sticky notes and blah, blah, blah. It's just super, super thin. Okay. Here's the aftermath of my day. There is stuff everywhere. There is more stuff everywhere, stickers everywhere. All the filming equipment is out. Ignore that giant pile of clothes in the corner. Giant stack of boxes that need to be taken out. Hmm. And I still need to get ready for the party. And I want to film one more thing related to that stack of stuff before I leave. All right, once again, I am two days behind and then I need to pick a tea to take with me to the party tonight. Now that my cup is back, I'm gonna take tea with me. I drank last night at the birthday thing and so I'm not gonna drink tonight. All right, so the J14 was Soleil Ride. It's caffeine free. It was another one of these fruit infusion ones. Let's, mm, I can't really smell anything that it smells like, but I think I want one that has a little bit of caffeine tonight. So let's see what the 15 one is. I have obviously a slew of other options if neither of these has caffeine. All right, so today's is orange chocolate. It is a pure tea. I've never heard of that before. And it's high caffeine, but I'm not gonna lie. I don't like when you mix fruit with chocolate. I, like maybe chocolate covered strawberries and that's it. But I don't like sweet and savory things mixed together. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. What I think I'm gonna do, you guys, is make this red velvet one because this just sounds amazing and it seems like a nice sweet treat to have at the parties while I'm not drinking. So I think I'm gonna go with this one.
All right, headed to Christmas party number one. I don't know what those weird glares are. I got my red velvet tea. I have my sangria that I made in yesterday's video. Got red lipstick. Holiday party ready. We are headed to party number two for me, party number three for Sam. Yeah. He, after some train troubles, finally made it to party number two for him and has been intensely staring at his phone while he checks the fantasy score Final since three. he has made it to the semifinals of his fantasy draft. But we are headed to the last party, which is his cousin. I have showed snippets of parties that they post on Instagram before. Pretty much everybody is a performer. They typically whip out the keyboard and it turns into like, a sing along. So hopefully no promises, but we'll see. Also, I feel like nothing beats naturally fallen curls. Like when I try to force my curls to fall, it they never look as good as when I just let them naturally fall and then they just look better over time. Is it is there a tr trick that I don't know? Good morning. We are up a little bit earlier than we intended to be on a Sunday morning. Last night we were in a cab at 1 a.m. on our way home and Sam goes, oh, by the way, I have a morning appointment. Oh, and I have to go to the office first. So he sets an alarm for 7.30 and after a couple of snoozes, finally gets up and goes to shower and the guy cancels on him. So rather than going back to sleep, we decided to just go ahead and get up, shower, like get started with our day. I have trouble a lot of times falling asleep anyway on Sunday morning or Sunday night because I slept in on Sunday morning. So you know what? Maybe it's for the better. So we are up and Adam, I'm going to take care of this disaster. Let me flip you around. I showed you this a little bit yesterday, but Ugh. it is still, actually it's probably worse. Disgusting. Shut up. It's a mess. There's Charlie. The boxes are still here. The stuff is still everywhere. So that that's probably priority number one. It was a dreary rainy Sunday here in New York, but I am headed up to meet my friend Eliana at a cute little tea shop so that we can finish our 2019 power sheets. We got together last weekend to work on them and we made a lot of progress. I mean, we did pretty much the whole prep work part, but we didn't finish and we need to finish. We wanted, the goal was, pun intended, the goal was to finish our goals before we went home for the holidays because we both get back like right before New Year's. So we are taking this time to invest in ourselves and finish up our goals and get some friend time in as well. All right, I am back home with my two snuggle bugs. I got this furry one and this less furry one since he shaved today. <laughs> He's not amused. So Ileana and I definitely made progress today and I think we had a lot of great conversations, but we did not finish all of our action 
pages for our goals. I think we have, we both have all of our goals for 2019, but we didn't finish the action pages. We prioritized the action pages for the goals that we have the same, if that makes sense. So there were three of the like big picture goals that we had the same ones. So we did those together and then we, but now we both have like at like seven other action pages to finish. And then also the January prep, like the, so that's just the first set of prep work and then you got to do the January prep. So it's fine. I'm going to make a plan to finish it before the end of the year. The plan was originally to finish it before I left for Chicago. I'm not going to set that unrealistic expectation. So I'm just going to make a plan to finish it before the end of the year and take my power sheets with me to Chicago. And that's going to be the end of this weekly vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and every day during December for Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Vlogmas. A long Monday at that. Oh, I like took up into oh. shut up. It is a dreary, dreary to snuggle. Oh, that didn't work. Charlie's, Charlie's chewing on a thing.